What's going on, everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger, and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be going over part two of the fan appreciation promo and everything you need to do to earn up to three free 99 overall cards and all of the other free content that comes from this promo. So part two is going to feature yet another welcome pack, and I know that's a sore subject for a lot of you because you didn't receive the part one welcome pack just yet. This one's going to feature a brand new upgradable player in Joe Thomas. So let's go ahead and open up the pack. Hopefully all of you watching this video did get the card. I was really holding on to hope that maybe they would do the smart thing and throw Plaxico Burris and Ryan Clark into this welcome pack as well. So if you didn't get that card, or I should say those cards, you would basically get an opportunity at getting them. No mention of it at all on GMM. So honestly, I really don't know what to tell you if you didn't get the Ryan Clark or the Plaxico. Hopefully you got this card. This is probably the best of the three welcome pack players that you can upgrade to a 99 overall and there's actually another area where you can use these silver fan appreciation tokens to get an additional free 99 overall of your choice we're going to show you that in the middle of this video or so so if you never got the part one welcome pack at least you have somewhere where you can utilize these tokens and turn it into a free 99 overall. Just like Plaxico and Ryan Clark, to upgrade these cards, you're going to need three of these silver fan appreciation tokens. So the first step is going to take five training. The next three steps are going to take those silver tokens. The fourth and final step to get them from a 98 to a 99 overall is going to require a loyalty token, and you can only earn two of those. So basically, if you did get both welcome packs, you can only upgrade two of those three players fully to a 99 overall. I think Ryan Clark and Joe Thomas, to me, are probably the best two to upgrade to that 99 overall. But if you change your mind or you don't agree with that decision down the road, you can always take that loyalty token out of whatever player and put it into the next one. And these cards do get five team chemistry buckets, so I can put times five Eagles scheme, theme team chem on this card if I choose to do so. You can mix and match. You can put five different theme teams. It's up to you. They also have a ton of zero AP discounted buckets, including Secure Protector for zero AP on this Joe Thomas. So you can scratch part of what I just said because it looks like the week one welcome pack has also gone out to everybody. I just got it. This is going to be the second one that I've earned, obviously, because I got it last week. So if you happen to got duplicates of it, just go ahead and quick sell the cards. It is what it is. And also, if you did get the welcome pack for a second time, you actually get an extra silver welcome pack fan appreciation token. So that's a small W. It's not game changing or anything, but that's certainly good news now that hopefully all of you watching this video have Joe Thomas, you got Plax, and you now have Ryan Clark. The fan appreciation field pass got updated today as well. Before we cover that, I just want to go over the season seven field pass. If you missed the reveal video earlier this morning in the season seven field pass week two milestones were added yesterday because yesterday was wednesday so you got a bunch of xp for the season seven field pass that you can earn right there and also the program objectives tab was updated so you got ninety thousand worth of season seven xp that's going to go hand in hand with the fan appreciation promo put two fan appreciation promo players in your lineup knock out these objectives if you didn't do last week's as well there's another seventy two thousand so a bunch of xp that you can earn in the season seven field pass to unlock some free rewards and also in the fan appreciation field pass prior to today i believe the max level that you could get to was level seven well they added more objectives in here so if you go over to the fan appreciation objectives tab you're going to see a bunch of new things added in the statistical section you want to continue to do your daily objectives they're very easy to knock out if you missed a couple of them that's okay as you can see they basically just stockpile every time you knock out one of these dailies you're going to get a silver fan appreciation token and those tokens are going to be used to upgrade the welcome pack players but you can also trade 15 of them in for a free 99 overall which we're going to show you that set in a moment so not only are you earning these silver tokens from day to day to day by knocking out the objectives once you complete 14 objectives which i think the 14th day will probably be wednesday a week from yesterday you're going to earn one of the fan appreciation loyalty tokens which is like a bronze or a goldish color that's what's going to take the welcome pack players from a 98 to a 99 overall so you get one in the daily objective objective section and by the way no new head-to-head -head statistical objectives added everything that's new is going to be found just in the stats section the second loyalty token is going to come at level nine which will be achievable as of today now that more xp is available this is the second token that you can get to take a loyalty pack or welcome pack player from a 98 to a 99 so again you have to choose between the three players that are available from the welcome packs only two of them can go from a 98 to a 
99. The other one can go to a 98 and still get times four of any team can. So if you don't upgrade Plax to his max, you can still make him your fifth wide receiver with a times four chem of any team that you want. It's a good way to build up a 50-50 theme team. At the very end of this field pass, we have more of an idea of exactly what's going to be in this legendary fan appreciation variety pack. So you do have your chance at getting a full 99 overall fan appreciation player, but it's not guaranteed, unfortunately. So once you max out the field pass and open up that BND legendary variety pack, this is what it contains. There's a set where you can redeem silver tokens to get another one of these packs if you want. I would personally stay away from this one, but you're going to get your choice or not your choice, but it's randomly either going to give you a 97 plus infinite flux player, a crucible or draft player, a theme team all-star or a 99 overall BND fan appreciation fantasy pack. So basically when you max out the field pass, you're hoping that you get that very last option in there. You don't get to choose. It's all random, but there is the potential chance at getting a 99 overall BND fan appreciation player out of that level 11 pack. Again, eight tokens will unlock a second pack, one exactly like the one you get at level 11. But what I would advise is saving the 15 tokens. And I did the math for you guys wondering at home, 15 tokens will redeem a free 99 overall BND fan appreciation player of your choice. And yes, we will put out a video later today going over the best card to take out of this pack. It should contain both part one and part two players. So we'll cover the best of both releases out there. And there should be enough of these silver tokens to not only redeem this set for your free 99, but also upgrade two of the three welcome pack players of your choice. I think I counted 22 tokens by doing your dailies, finishing the field pass, knocking out solo challenges. And that also didn't factor in one more token coming from today's welcome pack. And then an additional token, if you got the duplicate welcome pack from last week. So you got anywhere between 22 to 23 of these silver tokens. There's a lot of different routes you can go with them, but you should be able to ultimately turn it in to three free 99 overalls. There's also some other options where you can use these tokens, a fan appreciation coin pack, a variety coin pack. I would stay far away from this one unless you up upgrade and redeem all of the tokens for the 99s and you got a token or two left then you can go for this one there's also a regular bnd variety pack so this is different from the legendary pack uh, and you can read all of the contents that are in there 94 to 95 infinite flux crucible or draft player or theme team all-star and you do have a chance at pulling a full 99 overall uh, fan appreciation card from this is it guaranteed absolutely not but you do have a chance i mentioned that you can get more fan appreciation silver tokens from solo channel challenges. These updated today as well. There's a brand new sequence and community highlights that was added in, and I believe it's a total of 120 stars that can now be earned within these solos. Some of these rewards are already available during part one. Tier two gives you one of those tokens. You get the coin variety packs. You get some program XP for the field pass, and ultimately at the end of part one, you should have received, if you played the solos, a 97 overall Aeneas William. You now can earn above and beyond that. You got another fan appreciation silver token there at 75 stars more field pass xp and at 105 stars you get a free 99 overall scratch that 97 overall dree archer but he does come with baked on zero ap evasive He's got stock 99 speed, 99 acceleration, and 99 break tackle. Not a bad free option out there just for playing solos. If you don't care for the card, I would at least try to get up to the 90 stars so you can get all of the XP in this field pass to max it out. Today, we did get four new 99 overall champions and two more 99 overall LTDs. Unfortunately, they are still nowhere to be found in the catalog at the moment that I'm recording this video, but that's okay because again, later today, we're going to drop a video going over the best non LTD 99 overall cards and all of the abilities that you want to use on them to redeem those 15 tokens. So be on the lookout for that video. Uh, these cards are in the game though. If you go over to the auction house, you can see a bunch of the LTDs. We got tons of Alex Smith cards out there. There's a Jared Allen. I had to page down a few slots here, but Troy Vincent, Reggie Wayne are some of the uh, brand new part two cards. There's another Reggie Wayne. You cannot build these cards via item sets aside from the 15 token exchange. There's no other way to get these cards other than getting them out of a pack or buying them off of the auction house. And if we go over to the store options, they're pretty similar to what we saw last week. There's a $20 pack that gives 
gives you either two 95 plus players and a 93 plus card or that 93 plus slot can end up being a 99 overall fan appreciation champion i opened up both of these packs last week for about 20 dollars, like i said and i got two 99s out of them does that mean you're going to get two 99s if you open them up this week absolutely not but if you think they're you know if you feel like are you wondering if they're worth it if you're going after the cards that came out today i think they're worth giving a shot if you got the money there is a big fan app ultimate giant bundle this one was here last week and it disappeared really really fast maybe it wasn't supposed to come out until today and that's why it never came back all week you can read the description there. It's just too much money June 20th to be spending in Mutt 24, so I'm going to stay away from it. Might open up the $20 packs, that's it. The coin packs, which seem to be updated with the price and what's in them, uh, they stunk last week for me. I think they were like 240 k Even at 180 k I'm probably not going to touch them, but I do like the fact that they reduce the cost as far as the coins go on them. Hopefully they're better this week for people. Again, you know, I don't think I'm going to touch them. Maybe we will, maybe we won't, but I just want to tell you guys they were terrible last week. But those are all of your pack offers. That's all the content. So at this point, go grind those solo challenges, work on that field pass so you can max it out and try to get all those dailies done. I don't know if you can actually get to 15 tokens as of today. You might be really, really close, but as soon as you get those 15 tokens, make sure you go check out my video once we drop it on the best players to redeem for those tokens for a free 99 overall and thank you guys for watching the video my name is popular stranger i'm out peace